and welcome to the Googleplex. This is an incredible place with lots of great stuff being worked on every single day. Before I worked here, I always wondered what it would be like to come to the Googleplex, meet up with a Googler, and have coffee with them, and just chat about what they do, how they do it, and why they do it. And today we're going to do exactly that. Hi everybody and welcome to this episode of Coffee with a Googler. Today we're outdoors in these lovely gardens beside the coffee lab on Google's campus and I'm meeting with Catherine Kwan who's an Hi. application developer extraordinaire who's done some fabulous stuff at Google and she's going to tell us all about it. Hey Catherine, how are you? Good, Lawrence, how are you? Doing good. So tell us all about it. I hear you've built a lot of cool apps that a lot of the viewers have probably used already. Sure, so I worked on the Android apps team here at Google and I've okay. worked on apps like Google Play, Google Keep and the Contacts app. Google Keep is one of my favorites. Oh, really? Nice, yes. So, <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. So now you're moving on from being a person who builds all this wide diversity of apps to somebody who's helping new developers learn about them. So tell us about that. Yeah, when I was on the Android apps team, we had so many great resources here, really great engineers and designers and product managers. And they kind of helped me build a good understanding of what it means to okay. build a good product. And I wanted to share that type of information with people out in the public. Um, because sometimes, you know, building for Android can be a a little bit intimidating. Yes, you know, okay. there's so many resources out there and you just don't know where to start or what's important or not. And that's why I've been so excited to work on these Udacity courses because I okay. feel like it's a chance to provide people with a linear flow of how to start building an Android app. So we kind of guide you along the path of what are the important components that you need in your app. Okay. Whether it is, you know, building a UI or building a database or a content provider or a sync adapter. Like we guide you through building the Sunshine app, which right. is like a canonical um, example app that has like a list of data and a detail page. Okay. And it also works on tablets okay. as well. So we kind of teach all these fundamental concepts in right. like a story almost. So the fundamentals course was great. I took it myself. It was a great refresher. Awesome. And I've, I've done Java on and off for years, but it was mm -hmm. really good to sit down and see some of the great Java techniques that you can use for building Android applications and actually finally put make sense out of them, which was great. But I was wondering as I was doing it that what about somebody who hasn't done Java before or somebody who's a newcomer to mobile development? How do we get them on ramp so that then they can enjoy the goodness that was in your fundamentals course? Yeah, absolutely. So in the Android fundamentals course, we kind of breezed through some of the concepts like hitting a server or um, using SQL for databases, um, and so we want to. We cr we're creating a precursor to Android Fundamentals now, okay. and this is a new course. Um, it's called Intro to Android. Now it might change, but okay. essentially we're taking people from the beginning. So someone who's never written any lines of code, we're going to teach them um, nice. XML from the beginning. We're going to teach them Java concepts, event-driven programming, and just create like a couple of really simple apps, just to give people the feeling of what it is like to create something okay. um, from scratch. Cool, and then they'll be prepared to then go into the really, really cool stuff that's from Fundamentals. They have to practice a little more but <laughs> okay. on their own, but hopefully they'll see from this intro course whether this is right for them or not. Because computer science can have a lot of misconceptions to people. People think that developers just sit in a corner all by themselves working or that, um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so we want to show people that building Android apps is really to help improve other people's lives. I mean, one of the things about how Udacity courses work and you're, you're building these through Udacity, they're a little different, right? It's not just like you're sitting watching a video of somebody talking. Yeah. There's a lot of interaction involved and there's a lot of app building that the person has to do. Could you explain a little bit of the process behind that? It's a series of videos and interactive quizzes. Okay. So we are, in the Android Fundamentals course, we're guiding them through building a weather app. And so there'll be videos of me or my two co-instructors, and we'll teach kind of um, in a style that we call just-in-time learning. Okay. So say they need to build um, the list page. We'll build up parts of it at a time, and then as concepts arise that they don't know, we'll just do a short lecture on that. I um, see. And then to test their knowledge, we'll have an interactive quiz. So you can like, you know, Right. It's a multiple choice answer, or maybe it's a little coding task that okay. they have to do on the side in Android Studio. And then um, we re-engage them and then like you know, go to the next concept and so on. I see. And then you yeah. also make the source code available, right? So if they do get stuck, yeah. right, that they can download the source code for that section and then they can learn from that yeah. so they're prepared for the next section. Right? Yes. All the code is available in GitHub and we've split it up based on the code checkpoints parts in the course so okay. that people can follow along. And another really great thing that we've been rolling out recently is this thing called Android 
fundamental study jams. Yes. So I attended one. Oh really? I went to one in Dublin sure. a couple of weeks ago. Oh really? Yeah. How I, was it? It was it was actually really really cool. Yeah. You know, I, was, I didn't realize you were doing that, but they. I mean, I love the concept of it. But explain it for everybody who hasn't had the, been lucky to go to one like I have. Yes, for the Android fundamental study jams. Basically, we're partnering with a lot of the Google developer groups around the world, and there's leaders in each of these groups who um, have taken the Android fundamentals course or have already learned Android development on their own. Now they're leading like a class of students who are going to take the Udacity course online but mm -hmm. every week after they finish one course they come together and meet and talk about like problems that they had and work through things together and then by the end of meeting like maybe seven times or so they're going to start working on their final projects. I think it's so important for people to not learn um, purely through online like at home because when you get stuck you don't know what to do. So I think that community aspect and having these local leaders um, teach Android development will really um, round out people's experience to, to help them get ramped up on, yeah, on creating definitely. apps. So. And, I, and notice one of the themes that you're bringing up a lot and what's important for you personally, I can see, is in how people learn is social. Right, yeah. and having a social impact. So when learning is like working with other people rather than working as an island. But also, yeah. I understand that you like you have an encouragement for people who are building the apps that they have to build as part of their course to, to do something social. Like, can yeah. you share a little of that? Sure. The power of mobile, I think, is connecting people to the right information at the right time. Right. And so I feel like a lot of challenges that we have in society today, you know, mm -hmm. people might not have access to basic resources of life like food, water, shelter, things like that. But if we can use mobile phones to connect them to that information, then they can get access to those things. Right. I think that like blows my mind like how powerful that is. And I really want like our developers to see the power of what Android can provide as a platform, but also to identify those problems and kind of like marry those together to create a, a solution that works well for people. Okay, so the Android Fundamentals course is available now yeah. for people to get started, and your upcoming course to you know to help newcomers you know ramp up to get the skills for that is coming soon. Yes. So coming sometime soon. this year. Okay, yes. Okay. Cool. So <laughs> and it'll be available on Audacity's course, and they're also available free of charge, right? Yes. So and one of the things that people always ask about with Audacity services, and I've, I've gotten it. I went to the study jam, and I got the question a lot: was that is it really free? Mm -hmm. And because it just seems to be a paid link, could you tell us what's the difference and what do they get for free? For free, you can access all the course materials that the other co-instructors and I have created, like videos, quizzes, and the code. And then if you want additional help, you can sign up for the paid experience where you would get one-on-one -on -one tutoring with someone from Udacity. And then you also get a verified certificate at the end of it. Cool. So it really just depends on what learning environment is best for you. Okay, but who, anybody who wants to learn the beginner stuff and who wants to learn the fundamental stuff, they can learn it all, they can build the apps without paying a dime. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, Catherine, for being here, and yeah. thanks, everybody, for watching this far. And uh, if you want to learn more about the courses that Catherine has been working on and other courses for Android, go take a look at the Udacity.com site. As Catherine explained, it's totally free. The Fundamentals course is really cool, and you can join about 200,000 other students who've done it, or maybe even join a study jam in your local area. I attended the one in Dublin a couple of weeks ago, just the first one, unfortunately, and it was really wonderful, and I strongly recommend everybody to do so. So with that, I just want to thank very much Catherine for being here today. Thank you, Lawrence. I've learned so much from you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was really great catching up.